CEO, Ron Rickett from Creative Difference. Talk to you a little bit about fit. So we've got a demo ball here and we have a regular ball. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the fit of these two bowling balls. So one of the things Dustin's gonna show you is when he puts his hand in his personal bowling ball, which is the properly fitted bowling ball. We'll take a peek at that real quick. You'll be able to see how his hand sits in the ball. All right, now let's do the same thing with the demo ball. Now, to be fair, the demo balls are drilled to a much more generic spec. They're not necessarily meant to be great fits, but they're supposed to allow you to at least be able to get your hand out of the ball, you know, in a decent fashion. So you can kind of see there, there definitely are some differences there between the demo ball and his regular fit. One of the things is the grip. The grips aren't gonna feel the same, right? You can see the demo bridge is gonna be a little bit wider, plus you have to add in the thickness there, whereas here, it's just the two, uh, just the just the two holes drilled in the bowling ball. That's gonna be a difference, right? The thumb isn't gonna be the same because these thumbs are meant to be more uh, round, whereas Dustin's thumb is really gonna be more oval. You can see he actually has tape like molded into his thumb right there. It's, it's actually molded into his thumb there, whereas obviously demo ball won't. So that doesn't mean that you can't throw demo balls. What it really means is that you need to just be cognizant of the fact that when you're using a demo ball, that you have a demo ball, it's gonna be close enough for you to be able to get it off your hand. Now, with that being said, here's something else to think about. When you're going to do a demo, you wanna make sure you get a bowling ball that's probably a little bit, if you can't get exact span, you want it's a little bit shorter, as opposed to a little bit longer, because a little bit shorter, you'll still be able to get out of it, and it won't hurt your hand as much as if it's a little bit too long. So you wanna make sure that you go uh, to the best fit you can get. S stands for small in this particular case, um, but you wouldn't want to get a medium span for Dustin because that's going to be a little bit longer and make, could hurt his hand. Also, if you do begin to feel any sort of pain when you're doing the demo, stop. Take a break. Try something else. Um, and you utilize the demo teams to be able to help make sure you have the right fit. Let me show you what a demo team looks like really fast over here. So the demo teams, what they do is they actually have lots of grips and lots of thumb slug sizes. So you can see right here, this is all the finger sizes that they actually have here. So there's lots of different thumb holes, finger hole sizes and lots of different thumbs too. So you can get different thumbs, different fingers, and these guys are trained to be able to help make sure that you have the proper fit when you're going to be able to do the demo. They're gonna know what's gonna give you the best fit given the tools that they have to work with so that you'll be able to get yourself in a position to be able to repeat as best as possible. So if you go to a demo event, no matter what demo event it is, talk to the demo guys, allow them to help you make sure that you're being able to get the best fit for you so that you can be able to have a quality experience testing out some of the new bowling balls from the manufacturers. With that being said, I'm out of here. CEO, running for Creative Talk to you soon.